Hi there, Roger Burnley here with another video for you. Now, I receive a lot of questions also about why am I focused on vowel sounds or maybe uh, people have questions um, about why are vowel sounds so important. They're important because when you're singing them, they will affect what's going on inside your body. Okay, so let's think about it this way. Um, let's think about your range as being this way. I like using this kind of analogy. I always have my clients like think this way. They start to hear themselves this way. And you will also see that when you start using this as you're practicing and doing your own exercises, you will start to develop this incredible internal hearing where you're hearing exactly where your notes are, okay? But it's easier for me to get to reach the upper part of my range without tightening or pushing. And when I say that, when I'm talking about tightening or pushing, and we've all seen singers when they're doing this, where the outside muscles in the neck uh, are coming out, meaning that and those muscles are attached to the larynx. So if they're coming out, coming you know out wide that way, you're straining. That's not, not always the case. There's there, I, I, let me and I know I've had questions about this. Certain people are built differently. I am kind of built a little differently too. So typically I'm very veiny. So you may see a little bit of that happening. But typically you will feel more so where you're straining because these muscles are really protruding and cutting you off because they're connected to that your larynx or your voice box okay so it's easier for me to get to reach the upper part of my range without that pushing if the vowel sound that i'm singing and whatever word it is if it stays thin or gets more narrow as i go higher a a is a narrow a instead of Hey, oh, wide like that. Okay, so I'm exaggerating this a little bit right now because I want you to understand the concept. But basically, all you're trying to do is make sure that you're maintaining that sound. Hey, I'm gonna use an exercise that I, I've used before because um, I like the intervals in it because it'll get you to really accomplish a couple of different things. One, you're gonna hear where you're keeping your vowel sounds in this in the same place, but you're also gonna hear where you're developing this flexibility, where you're letting go of your notes instead of tightening and pushing. Okay, so I'm gonna do this uh, first on an A, just so you can get the idea. A, 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 I'm hearing the sound, A, the A, A, Going higher than a hey. when it gets thin or more narrow, it's almost as if it takes on a little quality of an e, which is even thinner yet. Hey, hey, hey. But you can hear when I add a little bit of that quality just to the a hey that it's there very easily. Again, you're going to incorporate uh, the idea of. Hey, you're letting go before that higher note and thinking that you're actually pulling it down rather than forcing up for it, okay? So let me go back and do that again so you can um, kind of hear what I'm doing there. Still in that place. Now you can try it on other sounds. I'm going to do it on O, O's, O's, O's. Those are going to be a little more problematic for you because you're going to have more of a tendency well, oh, trying to fall back in your throat. So let me just do a little bit on an O so you can hear how I start to narrow. Oh, that O sound as I'm going on. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh,
Oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh, oh. I'm just doing that. I'm deliberately doing that so you can hear where as I get high. Oh, and so oh, not out here. That will come out wide and it'll automatically pull you back in your throat. So you just have to hear and do it very easily at first. Oh, 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 oh. we're just getting it there very, very easily. So, and again, you can try this on different sounds. And if you, and, and what you can also do is go back to the idea of just using your thumb. So you can just feel because you will feel, you'll get aware. If you've had the habit of going back in your throat, you'll feel little places where these swallowing muscles will fight you and you'll start to make a little adjustment to prevent that from happening. Okay. Ah, 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 ah my thumb is here. Ah, 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 I'm still starting ah, in that narrow, thin place. Ah, 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 ah. Then your lower notes ah, bring them up as well. I'll let it play for you. Okay, now again, don't only do this to where it's really easy for you. Don't want you forcing or, you know, to try to get to the higher range. As your body gets comfortable with this, you will see that it'll get easier and easier. Now, um, a word of warning. I've had many, many people who have, on this particular exercise, they have the worst time getting the pattern down. And they say, well, it's too fast, it's too that. I like using this particular tempo because what you're trying to do is develop flexibility, okay? You may not get it all right away in the beginning, but just be patient with it. So that's why I like keeping it at, at, at that pace. But then the other thing that happens is you may hear yourself as you're doing this. If you have had a habit, and I've come across this so many times I can't even tell you. If you've had a habit of using these swallowing muscles and constantly straining and being back in your throat, you will probably start adding to this particular exercise more notes than what are there. Hey, I mean, you're just going all over the place trying to get it to happen. Don't worry about it. It will eventually go away. But it's important for you to understand that the reason that is happening is because your body has been work used to working way too hard to try to get sound out. And so that's why it's just going all over the place trying to get these notes. And you're going to see that probably some of you will have the tendency to add too many notes as you're trying to do it. Don't worry about it. Go back, just listen to it again, and then try to repeat it. So I'm just going to play a little bit of it. I'm not going to sing it. I just want to have it for you to listen to because it's important for you just to get the idea of the pattern, okay? Okay, that should give you enough to get going with. And again, you can change the octaves if you if you want on this exercise. Just, you know, if you're female, you can change the octave. And, uh, or if you want to get lower notes, if you're a bass or a baritone, do the octave lower too. So, But again, it's more important for you to just feel the freedom and the flexibility in the exercise itself. Okay, play with this one, have fun, and I will see you soon.